Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my monthly crafting club unboxing video and today is April's box. So if you're not already aware of what the crafting club is, I'm going to quickly run you through it. I know I go through this every single month, so if you're a regular viewer, you're probably sick to death of me explaining this. But for any new viewers here, I will just quickly talk you through it. So it's a monthly crafting club subscription box, so you will receive a craft gin in the post every single month if you choose to sign up monthly. You can also sign up for a box every two months or every quarter and you're not tied into a contract or anything so it's really simple to sign up for a month, a couple of months, try it out and if you don't enjoy the boxes, which I'm sure you would but if you didn't for whatever reason you can easily cancel. So <laughs> there's my little dog down there if you're wondering what that thing moving is on the bed. <laughs> That's Nala. Um, so you'll probably see her pop up a few times in this video. But each month you'll receive a full size bottle of craft gin. Now this is usually like a 70 centiliter bottle so it is a full size bottle, a couple of tiny which are usually from brands that aren't that familiar in the supermarkets. You'll get ingredients to make a gin cocktail, some snacks, a magazine, and a few more bits in there as well, some garnishes and stuff like that. So I love the subscription box, and I know a lot of you love it too, because a lot of you have already signed up using my code. So thank you so much if you use my refer friend code. If you do use my code, it doesn't mean that I get some money off my next box. So thank you, it just means that I'm able to do these videos every month and show you kind of what's inside the boxes. If you haven't signed up already and after this video you kind of want to sign up, definitely look at my refer a friend link in the description bar below. It will give you £16 off your first box. So usually boxes are £40, but you'll get your first box for only £24. So that's a really good saving. So I think that's all of the introing I need to do. So now we're going to get into the box. So this box literally arrived this morning and it's now Easter Bank Holiday weekend that so arrived in perfect time to be able to enjoy some G&Ts in the garden if the weather improves like it was at the start of the week. So this is the box. It's actually quite light this month. It's like quite a light box. So hopefully there's some gin in here. There will be definitely but it does feel quite light. I'm now going to just get into it and we'll see what's inside. Someone's interested now what's inside the box. What is it? What's inside? Oh she's so cute. No, not the doggies. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is really good. So, on top of the box, we have all of our snaps and some garnishes. Let me sit back a bit. Now, there's very interesting what's in the box. Okay, so the first thing I pulled out of the box is actually the garnishes for this month. So, these are orange and rose buds. So, can you see that? You've got the little orange slices and some little roses there as well. That's really intriguing. I've never had rose buds before in a box. First snack I pulled out is some Joe and Seth's popcorn. Now these are camembert cheese and herbs de Provence gourmet popcorn. So they are basically cheesy popcorn. I don't think I've ever had like cheesy popcorn before. But I love Joe and Seth's, it's a brand I have had before. We actually won a competition with Sky a couple of months ago and they just sent like a massive box of popcorn. And it was really delicious. Oh wow, this is a bit bizarre. So these are a packet of crisps by the French Kitchen. And these are snail and garlic flavoured potato crisps. Don't know how I feel about that. Snail. I've never had snails. Obviously, I am vegetarian, but I didn't used to. I've only been veggie for two years. Snail. Oh, they do actually say they're suitable for vegetarians in them. So obviously, they don't actually contain snails. <laughs> Maybe it's like a French gin this month, because these are obviously French-themed crisps. And the popcorn was like Herbes de Provence, which is like a French thing as well, isn't it? Provence. So... Probably a French bottle. Oh, we've also got two incredible snacks here. So this first one here is flower white raspberry crumble. So I think this is like a little chocolate bar. So this is a fair trade white chocolate bar with a melting meringue middle. It's only got 95 calories. Oh, this sounds delicious. So it's recyclable, fair trade, it contains natural flavors and colors. It's vegetarian and it's also gluten free. How delicious does that look? Can you see the oh, white chocolate? Oh. Love, love, love white chocolate. And we've also got a little mini bar of lint. And chocolate is also a welcome addition in these boxes. And this is a milk chocolate bar. This is now the gin bundle. So I'm gonna start looking at the litter bottles first. Oh, we've actually got like branded craft gin club paper this month. We don't usually have that. It's normally just kind of like white paper. Oh, amazing. Right, so we've got a mini bottle of Campari. And this is... Campari, David, Campari, Milano, bitter. Um, have I ever had Campari? I've had a, is it a Negroni before? Does that contain Campari? Oh, I don't know, I'm just <laughs> mixing up all of my uh, cocktails now. 
a little bottle of Campari. I think this is probably one of our first tonics. Oh, interesting. So it's not a tonic at all, it's a soda water. So this is obviously one of our mixers. And this is the London Essence brand, which we have had in boxes before. That's a soda water. So maybe this could be the cocktail mixer. So the next bottle is also wrapped up in just plain paper. And this is the London Essence Original Indian Tonic Water. And we have had this one before. Um, I'm sure there's probably loads of tonic brands we haven't tried before in boxes. Um, but well, this is obviously a repeat, we have had this before, but they always do choose tonics which complement the gins. So obviously this is one that's going to complement the gin. So it's just a standard Indian plain tonic water. And the final mixer is another original tonic water. So we've got two of the tonic waters and one soda water. A, another branded paper one here. So this is probably the cocktail syrup. Oh, I'm going to like this. I know I will. So this is a pink gin spritz, if that ever focuses. And these are always enough to make at least two cocktails. A lot of people are saying that these are too sweet, but I love, I've got such a sweet tooth, so I love the cocktails that they do. Um, it's perfect just to try. And you can actually usually buy these in like the big 500 ml sizes on the website. So if you have signed up and you find one that you absolutely love, um, you can also like sometimes buy the big sizes as well, which is great. So you can try the mini and then purchase the big one if you want to. I've then also got an, an extra little gift this month. So we've got a little macaron. It's not a macaron at all, it's a madeleine. <laughs> I don't think that was a macaron. So this is a Bon Maman Le Madeleine Per Bury. Bury. I did French at school. I should know this. I should be able to speak French. This is a little madeleine. I've had these before. Bon Maman is a great brand. And they do the best strawberry jam as well. So I have had this before and I do think they are delicious. So we get, we've got a lot of snacks this month. And then the last thing is the gin. So let me get this open. Wow, gosh, look at that bottle. It's a, mo a most amazing, like frosted pink shade. It goes very well with my background aesthetic. So this is a French gin, which I thought because of the snacks, the French themed snacks. This is QVT dry gin, distillery in Provence. It's a Provence gin, um, small batch distillers. 40% alcohol, 700ml bottle, and that is a truly stunning bottle. It's the kind of one of the things I love about the Craft Gin Club is they always include gins that you've never, probably never heard of before and from small batch distilleries, but also they just have the most beautiful bottles, which I just don't think you get with, with standard gins in supermarkets. And then the only thing left to do is go through the magazine. So this is, looks like a very beautiful gin. So go through the magazine. I actually love the South of France. So here is a little spread of everything you should receive in the box. And it says this month's box is worth over £63. And obviously we only paid £40 for this box, so it is a super good deal. So the QVT Dry Gin. It's the Craft Gin Club edition, so I think they've probably made this specifically for the Craft Gin Club. So it says the botanicals are juniper, coriander, cardamom, rose petal cornflower, petal, lavender, rosemary, thyme, lemon, grapefruit, rosé wine extract, and polypody fur. This sounds incredible. I absolutely love Provence rosé. We went on holiday to Saint-Tropez a couple of years ago. I love that this contains rose petals and rosé wine extract. So unusual, it's not sort of any botanicals we've ever seen in a gin before. Well, I haven't anyway. So tasting notes are refreshing note, the piney juniper on the nose and palate followed by delicate floral and herbaceous flavours and bursts of citrus. A well-rounded finish with long-lasting Provencal notes. That sounds right up my street, that does. So we've then got the little um, cocktails you can make. So the G&T is the 50 mils of the gin, 200 mils of the London Essence tonic, and then the dried rosebuds and orange. And the pink gin spritz is the dry gin, the cocktail syrup, 25 mils of cocktail syrup, the 100 ml of soda water and then a grapefruit slice to garnish. That just sounds so refreshing. So then as always, the magazine goes on to tell you a bit about the area. So this is Provence and you've got the lavender fields of Provence there which look absolutely stunning. Some information about the founders of the gin and the family. There's a little bit of information about the bottle design actually here. So it says, the French flag pays homage to gin's Provencal terrier. The bottle shape is practical for holding and pouring, but also a subtle nod to the shape of wine bottles. I did think it kind of looked a bit like a wine bottle. The copper accents reflect the glimmering copper still the gin is made in. And the pale pink hue of the bottle reflects the rosé wine extract of the gin. 
a lot of thoughts gone into the bottle and it shows because it's absolutely beautiful how to make a french gimlet i do love french gimlets you know they are one of my favorite cocktails lots more information about provence yeah so like i was saying earlier you will be able to buy the um bottle of syrup in a bigger size so they have it here but it's 11.95 for the big bottle they've got some information on how to make the perfect cheese board which looks absolutely delicious and contains fresh figs this looks good this is the qvt gin raspberry and rose charlotte royale it's like a beautiful pink dessert we've got a ginny lemon and lavender tart here as well i love a lemon tart as well i just love any desserts really anything sweet is right up my street and then as always there's some spreads about gin pals and all of the other members of the group they have monthly competitions and you can win um freebies and things i actually won a subscription to love my read a couple of months ago because i submitted a picture on instagram that they chose like a runner-up prize um so it's really a great subscription service just to get involved in and there's such a great community over on facebook and that's it so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you like watching my craft gin club unboxing this month i do one of these boxes every single month so do make sure you're subscribed if you want to see what's in next month's box these boxes just get better and better each month thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time bye